So, Miss Walker, you've been rather quiet. I would have thought you'd have some questions for me. No? You mentioned the guest house. Are you that other guest I heard about? Indeed, Miss Walker. It's actually Frau Wagner who told me about you. When she told me that you were looking for Dana, I knew I had to talk to you. Frau Wagner told me to call the Academy, which I did, and the Rector then redirected me towards the Bridge of Mists. And that's how I ended up wandering up and down it, asking about a mysterious American woman with a painting. I read that you used your prestige as an artist to spy on the brown shadows of the UK before and during the war. So, what is your real name then? Junta Steinhoff or Colonel Blake? Janice Blake is my name, Miss Walker. It's not the sort of name the brown shadow would have trusted, I'm sure you'll agree. So, I took my mother's maiden name as an alias. Both my parents were diplomats from Austria, you see. So you were some kind of double agent? You make it sound more romantic than it really was, miss. But yes, I guess one could say so. I guess you have new information about Dana for me? I might very well indeed, Miss Walker, but what if you told me first what that little investigation of yours has dug up about Dana? I know Dana was very concerned about Leon being on the run after the death of that scientist, Herr Berger. I, I can't blame her. How could he survive for the winter all alone in the mountains in a strange country? How could he? That's exactly the right question, Miss Walker. That origin expedition in Baltayar. What a mess that was. I discovered today that Dana became pregnant that summer of 37. Leon was the father, so her parents decided to hide her in a sanatorium outside town. Which, I assume, saved her from the night of the brown shadow pogroms in Wagen. You assume right, but her parents, on the other hand. Yes, I heard they didn't make it. Poor bastards, if you'll pardon my French. So, that's basically all I know. Can you tell me what happened to Dana after she left for the sanatorium to have her baby? I must confess, Miss Walker, that I was afraid you might overlook some of the painful information here, which is clearly the case. What do you mean? I... look. I think it would be best if we stay in this carriage until the very end. I know it is an odd request to make, but you really must see this for yourself. Well, I... Until then, I recommend you look outside the window. I guarantee it'll be worth your while.
I'm sorry, Miss Walker, but chasing you around that bridge was more exhausting than I thought. That's okay. I can wait. Ah, nonsense. I know how eager you are to find out about Dana. So you go first. I'll meet you at section 08. I'll come meet you there. Can't you just tell me what we're doing here? I know it must seem cruel, speaking in riddles and keeping up all this mystery like a bloody fortune teller. But I promise, you must see for yourself. Okay then. And don't forget, miss. Section 08. Find it, and I'll meet you there. Oof. Cold as hell here. O eight. That's the section you'll need to find. the heck do I get myself into these situations? These ruins, they look like they're from the Middle Ages or something. There's something sinister about all this. Have no fear, Kate Walker. The sun's setting, and you're all alone in an isolated and derelict place. Statistically speaking, it is highly improbable that you'll meet anybody, good or bad. Thank you, Oscar, but please do me a favor. Stop trying to reassure me, would you? As you wish, Kate Walker. This gives me the creeps. Looks like... Oh, jeez. What is it, Kate Walker? This place, it's... It's a cemetery, Oscar. I think Dana's... Oh my god, she must have... Don't jump to hasty conclusions yet, Kate Walker. You should try and find that spot that Colonel Blake mentioned. Section 08. Yes, I... Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Section 08 is over there. I don't have time to get lost in that maze.
Is there anything that requires my assistance? I'm gonna need you to be my eyes, Oscar. Will do. Just call me whenever you need directions. A cemetery? Oh my god. Impossible to get through. I'll have to find a way to go around it. Section B. Illegible. missing here no I don't think so section F I need help here! All right, then. Ugh, it's not here. I need directions. Possible to read. The Undertakers must have forgotten it. it. Seems so old. This place must be centuries old. The inscription has faded away. <gasps> Illegible. Can't be here. Better keep looking. Impossible to get through here. Better find another way. Hmm. I recognize some of the names here. Pretty interesting. But I should get back to what I was doing. Section P.
Section O! Right over there! Illegible. Anna Rose, nineteen thirty eight, gone to a better place. Oh no. Anna's health had deteriorated at the Santorium. Her coughing fits, the pregnancy, and all the stress about Leon being on the run out there in Baltayar. It was just too much for her to bear. The doctors had to put her to sleep before her delivery. There were complications, and when she woke up... Her parents told her the terrible news. They had already buried the baby girl. How come the Brown Shadow didn't go after Dana? They controlled Ostertel back then, right? Oh, they would have eventually, believe me. And afterwards? Dana became sterile because of the complications during childbirth, so she remained at the sanatorium a few months more. She was devastated, poor darling. That's how she survived the pogroms. Yes, but that didn't mean she was safe. So what happened afterwards? Dana lost everything. Her parents, her baby, Leon. I think she would have just given up if I hadn't been there that day. But I had to go to London. Back then, I used to get invited every year or so to all kinds of artistic events. I could then make out my report to the British Secret Service without arousing the Brown Shadow's suspicion. So I took Dana with me to save her from them. Dana stayed in London for about six years. I found her a flat and a position with my real employer, the Foreign Office. She had no family, no friends, and in a way she had no life. She spent every minute she had in the office fighting in her own way against those who took everything from her. 
She went from one promotion to another, and soon she was among those in charge of coordinating all the resistance fighter groups pertaining to the different occupied countries of Europe. All right, Dana. Focus. The Admiralty needs us to spot the enemy units on the map according to the reports they provided. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. like I've pinned too many units on the map. I should read the reports again. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map.
If I follow the instructions on the reports correctly, I should be able to place all the units mentioned. Looks like I made a mistake on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map.
Reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Looks like I made a mistake on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Check the reports. I... I should 
Check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes. I should check the reports. I I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. I should check the reports. I I should check the reports. I should check the reports. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Looks like I made a mistake on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Looks like I made a mistake on the map. I should check the reports. Looks like I made a mistake on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Looks like I made a mistake on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Looks like I made a mistake on the map. According to the reports, most of the units are found in the sea areas, along the French coast and some in Belgium. That's it, I guess. <gasps> Yunda! Dana, darling. You can use my real name here, you know. Sorry, but I just can't get used to it. For me, you'll always be Ginger Yunta. Charming. I'm sure I have Lenny to thank for that, hmm? You were always too soft on that little brat. Oh, give her a break. What are you doing here? I'm so glad to see you. Only doing my duty, Dana, darling. A gallery invited me for a conference, so I jumped at the occasion to report back to our superiors. But it might be the last time for a while, I'm afraid. It's getting very hard to leave the occupied territories, even for a famous so-called pro-brown shadow artist like me. Anyway, how have you been since my last visit? I'm busy, I guess. That landing everyone is talking about could change everything. You know quite well that wasn't what I was asking about. I... well... with Leon being missing, and probably lying dead somewhere in Baltea for the past seven years, and what happened to my parents, you know how I feel. It's all beginning to feel like... like a dream, Junta. A distant dream. Especially... her. And I don't want it to... you know... I don't want her, my sweet Anna, to just fade away. I... I'm sorry, Junta, but could we please change the subject? Of course, darling. What is it? 
More work for you, actually. Oh? Yes. The Allies need someone for an operation with the Resistance in occupied territory, and they think it should be you. But truth be told, Dana, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Why not? I did volunteer for field operations. They've trained me a lot for that. I know, Dana, but this operation will happen in Ostertal, right next to Vargen, actually. I see. Look, you don't need to answer me this minute. And no one would blame you if you declined the mission. We all know you don't only have happy memories of Vargen. You still have time to think it over. But before you give your final answer, they need you to identify the resistance group that will execute the operation. It's all explained here. And of course it's all top secret stuff. So you must cross-reference the documents right here in this room. You'll have to use that thing over there. But I don't know how to use it. I'm sure that's easy for you. You have such a clever mind, my little virtuoso. I'll see you later. Well, let's get cracking then. Could one imagine anything as insane as the whole wide world at war, and for the second time in barely a generation? From what I can understand of that... thing, the pressure must be high in the left tube, but low in the right one. Compressed air. I think I need to get the mixture right, paying close attention to the rarefied air. The United Kingdom seems pretty much on its own as representative of the free world in Western Europe. The Soviets are on the move. They've reconquered most of their territory, and they're closing in on the Brown Shadow. 
the brown shadow still occupies the whole of Central and Western Europe. We've reconquered North Africa and half of Southern Italy, and we aren't going to stop there. The most widely used allied single-seat fighter plane. I probably owe it my life, like all of us here. The Blitz ended a few years earlier, but now the Brown Shadow is sending us a new death machine. The V-2. Yunta said I wasn't allowed to leave the room until I identified the Resistance Network. We're snowed under. The paperwork is piling up and problems with it. I guess winning a war takes time, and it's something we cruelly lack. Silly me. Can't be it. Better try something else.
Timothy. Doesn't fit in with what Yunta said. No, it can't be this underground network. No, doesn't make sense. Edelweiss? A coincidence. It must be a coincidence. The network leader's alias. Uh, come here now, my pretty Edelweiss. Don't call me that. You know I don't like it. It's true, though. That's exactly where you are, my pretty Edelweiss. Oh, good grief. But how did he... 